In this video, we're going to be checking out all 58 film emulation presets from Dehancer Pro. Now, I made a previous video about Dehancer Pro, so if you want to know all of the features that Dehancer Pro offers, go watch that video. They offer some great things like halation, film bloom, film weave, and a lot of great things that you can actually go in and customize your film look to be exactly what you want. But this video is all about just showing you what the preset is and mixing in a bunch of different cameras at different settings. All of that information should be on the screen. A lot of this footage is Canon C70 footage shot in Cinema Gamut Log 3 and then color graded using the Canon LUT BT709 YDR and added contrast to taste. So far we've seen Adox, which is a German film negative, and Agfa, which has multiple different styles, but I believe they're all film negatives. The look we're seeing right now, Ambrotype, is a historic glass positive, black and white, and it makes whatever you're looking at seem very antique. I should also mention that Dehancer has a good mix of still film emulation and cinema film emulation. Cine Still is a brand of historically cinema film, but they just started selling stills film. So take that with a grain of salt. But I think the look is beautiful. Fuji Eterna is always a classic look. Brings up the blues and the highlights. Brings out the shadows. If you're looking for Fuji recipes for your videos uh, because you love the look of it, you've been applying it to your photos, I know there's a huge community for Fuji recipes. This is your one-stop shop to apply it really easy to your videos. Dehancer Pro has a ton of Fuji film emulations, and it's not just a quick color grade, it's a process. You can check out their website, Dehancer Pro, for the full breakdown of their process. And if you're going to buy the program, make sure to use the code AJWilliamsMedia at checkout for 10% off of your purchase there. And since we're talking about Dehancer Pro's website, I should also let you know that I reached out to the people at Dehancer and they did let me know that they're going to be releasing a version for Final Cut coming hopefully this year and a version for Premiere Pro is in the works but probably won't be released until 2022. I'm super happy about that because I'm a Premiere Pro user so I can't wait for this to be released on Premiere Pro myself. As for right now, it's only available in DaVinci Resolve, but I will be so happy when it's available in Premiere Pro. In the last video that I did about Dehancer, I mentioned that the best way to do this was probably to color grade first and then add the film emulation after that in a separate node using DaVinci Resolve. So that's what I did here. That's why you're seeing two different slides. The first is the color grade and then you're seeing the film emulation put on top of that. The footage that you're seeing right now is from one of the saddest shoots I've ever been on. It started out as a kennel clean and a help effort that turned into a dog rescue. The Bissell Foundation and NOLA helped relocate over a hundred dogs to homes that could actually take care of them. So let's move on to better times when me and my wife, Jessica, got to go out and enjoy our anniversary at Hotel Legends. Good times. <laughs> A lot of the film that's being emulated with Dehancer, you can actually go and buy. I know I saw a few different brands on bnhphotovideo.com. I'll leave a link in the description to some of those. Uh, I can't promise that I'll put them all. After all, there's 58 of them. But check the description. If I've seen it on BH, then it'll be down there. I love Kodak 
for just the color, the contrast. It was one of the go-to films that I would always use whenever I was using my Kanika Minolta back in college. I know I just dated myself, but it is what it is. I'd love to know in the comments if you still shoot film and where do you get your film from and where do you get your film developed. Uh, I have some film that is undeveloped right now that I've been planning on sending off to MPix to get developed, but I just haven't taken the time to do that, and maybe one day I'll make a video about that, actually shooting film. That might be a fun video. Put in the comments if you want to see that video. <laughs> And just like with Fuji, Kodak is another brand of film that Dehancer went really deep and got a lot of film stock and emulated a ton of Kodak looks. So if you're into Kodak recipes, then Dehancer is also a great program for you to pick up. Again, go to Dehancer.com and make sure to use AJ Williams Media at checkout for 10% off of your purchase. So far, you've been seeing pro-level and prosumer-level footage, so I wanted to throw in some consumer footage, and I had some footage on my old iPhone 4S that I threw in here. Also, some footage on my old iPhone 6S that I threw in here, and also some iPhone 11 footage, which is the current phone that I have now. I'm sure it would look basically the same on Android phones, but iPhone is just the one that I have, so that's what I used. Going back and looking at some of the old iPhone footage brought back a lot of memories of my kids when they were younger. Uh, cherish those moments. Back a few years ago, I got on this time-lapse kick, and the iPhone 6S was able to have an app that would do time-lapses really well. I believe it was called Lapsit or something like that, and I would use it all the time, and now that the iPhone actually has a time-lapse feature built in. I actually don't use it as much. <laughs> Crazy how that works. This next set of footage is filmed on a GoPro Hero 3, which doesn't have any image stabilization and I gave the camera to my kids while they went swimming, so it's gonna be a little bit shaky, forgive me for that, but it still gets the job done. You can still see the film look that Dehancer Pro puts on this footage, and I think it looks really good. I think it looks fantastic. We're going to go back to more of the pro look because these are Polaroid and putting a Polaroid on a consumer just kind of gives you an idea of what consumer product looks like when it's with a consumer product and I wanted to see what the pro look looked like when it was made to emulate more of a consumer type of product. Now we're getting close to the end of the video and I wanted to see what stock video looked like when it was film emulated. So this is footage that I've actually uploaded as stock footage and I just put the film emulation on there without doing any extra color grading. And that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, I probably won't make another one exactly like this, but if you want to learn more about how to make better videos, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.